Hey guys, so today I thought to share with you some good article resources uh, regarding the PHP fundamentals. So I hope it will be, be really benefit to you if you are a beginner for programming. So I will cover up these areas and I will do this um, in a little bit faster. I know your time is really valuable. Anyway, if you got any issues or clarification, please comment. Then I will explain those to you. So, so PHP and why are you using it? Basically, PHP is a server-side scripting language that uh, we are using to develop web applications. And it's really easy language that you can easily learn. So other than that, uh, I will talk about what are the object-oriented programming concept and how you can create a class, function, and variables. And after that, uh, how you can create objects using that class and how you can call that class functions using that object. And, and what are the PHP coding standards and why we should follow these coding standards. And what is MVC design pattern framework and how we can use it in those areas. And the other section is, um, to do the development you have to set up your local environment and how you can set up the apache 2 server php and mysql database and after that i will go through some sample demo php application based on mvc framework and we'll do some code review and let you know how it is based on mvc and what is the data flow and finally, I would like to talk about what are the PHP default functionalities and these functionalities so you will be really benefit to you uh, when you are doing the development. So let's begin. Um, so regarding the object oriented programming concept, um, it is it is really um, that you are going to represent the our real world in your program. So Mainly, it will separate into three sections, uh, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. So in encapsulation means that you are not exposing all the class uh, variables to outside world, that you are going to hide some uh, specific variables and only expose uh, some of them or using uh, separate get method or set method uh, you are going to expose those variables inside that class that's called encapsulation so you are going to capsulate that your data in that class so in inheritance means in pro php you are using extend keyword uh, mainly it is like the parent child relationship uh, that uh, in real world if you take it will uh, has all the behaviors of their parent so that that concept you can represent in your program in your child class you will use the extend keyword and the child the class child extend the parent class name so in that child class you can access all the uh, parent class functions and variables so in this is called uh, the reusability of those uh, functionalities and variables so that concept is represent this in inheritance in polymorphism um, use the same method in a different manner uh, mainly uh, this kind of scenario will happen when we are using an interface in uh, our class we can use an inherit keyword like uh, child child inherit the interface name next content i will discuss what is interface so mainly in interface uh, you can't define a function you can just uh, just mention or create a template of that function name so once you uh, implement that interface in a child class you can define uh, what should has to be happen in that function so polymorphism uh, there are two uh, subsections like uh, method overloading and method overriding and in those two sections we are using the same method but in method overriding concept we are using the same method 
but it will return a different result in method overloading concept what is happening is we are using the same method but but we are passing uh, different parameters to that uh, function uh, so that is that is happening in polymorph pizza so so let's go to the next content so in our next section uh, let's see how to create a class function and objects and other data types and this these things uh, so if, if we would go through this uh, tutorials point article there are a lot of information that you can gather uh, related to these details uh, basically this is how we can create a php class uh, we will use the class keyword before the class name and we will to create a function we will use a function keyword uh, before the function name and here these are the parameters which I mentioned earlier and if we are using uh, variables between class and functions we call them as a global variables and these variables you can store data and 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 this variable you can access inside these functions as well so here are some example and here is which i talk about get method and set method in encapsulation concept so these variables you can access via this get and set method in set method you will update this variable by passing a parameter for example set price uh, here you will update this price variable using these parameters and get price in that function you will return this uh, price variable so here here how we can create objects uh, using one particular class we use new um, keyword and here in in programming uh, the program would read the line by right side to left side so we will create a new books class and that object will store in a physics in this uh, variable and once uh, you will you have created uh, object you can use this arrow sign and call its function and variables so that's happening in this way uh, and also there is a construct function uh, as i mentioned earlier when you are using the new keyword you will create object in that event this construct function will be automatically called so if you want to uh, assign some default variables of the class you will use them inside this construct function and also there is another function similar to construct destruct this function will be automatically called when a garbage call collector is calling that means uh, those all the objects will store in our ram so in a particular time these uh, objects will get um, clear by using the garbage collector process so in that event this destruct function will call similar to a construct function uh, here is the inheritance double logic concept so we use the extend keyword here these these two are classes child class and the parent class so we use extend to get all the parent methods and variable to this child class mm. if we get this class novel extend books and we get all the books set publisher get publisher function into our uh, class novel uh, is the function overriding and there are uh, access type uh, in php programming one is a uh, private and protected public and uh, final so here when you are using the public uh, keyword 
then you can access that public access if it is that function or variable is public access type then you can access um, that variable or function without any restrictions but if it is the private uh, access type well, similar to this private function or private car in that situation that variable is only variable or function will be only accessible inside that class object so if you are using protected access type uh, you can access that variable or function inside the child classes as well uh, and if if there is a final access type then you can't update that variable or function after that mm. so you can go through this article it's real information um, regarding these things that we talk here is the interface which I talk about so we will just make a template in the interface we will use the send mail function and in this class we implement the interface mail and we can define that what is the things that we want to put in the send mail function or in other sense we, we can define the send mail function definition here usually this type of scenario can be happen when we are implementing apis uh, from uh, our already built classes so in api we use this interface and we are extracting only the functions which we would require to expose um, so there, there is another co class called abstract class uh, this is also similar to interface but the difference is you can define the abstract function uh, other than put in a layout of functions inside this class as well uh, yes uh, so go through this initially and just let me know if you got any issues uh, and please the comment then I will uh, explain them to you so uh, I will talk about what is what are the PHP coding standards and what is MVC design pattern framework in when you are talking about the coding standards uh, mainly there are two coding standards that I would like to discuss which are PSR 1 and PSR 2 coding standards um, other than these two coding standards, there are several uh, PHP coding standards that would recommend. So, I mean, please go through all of these uh, articles and these standards, they are really important. And the thing is, why we should follow this coding standard? Because uh, if you would follow this coding standard, it will it will improve the quality of your end product or your program at the end so mainly if we go through the PSR one there are things that we should follow in our uh, when we are doing the development that basically how we would add comments to codes and how we should define a function and and how we should uh, create class names and how we could create um, what things we shouldn't do when we are creating classes for example when you're creating a class class foo and the bracket should be in next line so these are these simple things uh, that uh, but we if you can follow this thing it will it will add really great value to your code and here so when you are define a constant we have to add uh, capital letters for our variables so and always we should use uh, camel cases like this for defining methods uh, first character is simple and next 
uh, word is capital so this thing and in PSR 2 coding uh, it will let you know uh, how, about uh, camera cases and and character length uh, trailing white spaces and the, uh, there are two other tools that would be really helpful to you those are uh, php code cs code sniffer uh, so if you go to google and search you can get these uh, php code sniffer tool you can use this tool to uh, to maintain these standards and there is another tool called php cbf uh, this is a code beautiful tool so it will key add the add or remove additional spaces and those things so i will share these uh, tool link so you can integrate this tool uh, when you are integrate uh, doing the development so regarding the uh, mvc design pattern framework uh, it's mainly similar like this uh, diagram uh, mvc main model view controller and just take this image as an example uh, when a user going to your application it, he will firstly he will come to the view section and um, and once he doing go to uh, another page or con contact submit a contact form that data will uh, obviously we have to store in our database or generate the email so in that scenario he will come to the view uh, contact page is the view section and once he submit the form that action will be stored in this controller section so that data will come to the controller section and after that the controller will send those data to our model section and using the model in that section there is a separate several other classes and functions model classes and function so this function will save those data in our database um, here uh, in a complex web application uh, we will have to include the business requirement business logic so mainly that that business logic will be stored in a controller or model based on the customer requirement uh, here is the laravel uh, framework related mv mvc architecture so that's why there is a routes and uh, routes section so in my sample uh, php application it is based on laravel framework so i will go th go through the code review uh, how this section will have been defined Mm-hmm.